Hey, what's up YouTube? Sons of the Tallapoosa here and uh, just giving you a little bit about shaky head fishing and shaky heads today. I'm about to pour some shaky heads. Um, if, if you're familiar with shaky head fishing, you know that you lose a lot of them, especially when we fish, uh, mostly on the Coosa and Tallapoosa rivers uh, systems here in Alabama, Lake Martin, Logan Martin, Mitchell, Lay, Jordan, um, things of that nature. Uh, Highland Reservoirs, uh, real rocky, so you lose a lot of them. And plus, I have uh, a couple of high school kids that fish with me. Uh, my daughter's just starting, and mainly what she throws right now is a shaky head, and we can get her on some shaky head fish. Now, uh, Slade, of course, has ventured out into everything, but uh, we still lose a lot of shaky heads. So you can find a shaky head any of these big box stores you go to. Uh, just about every company makes them. Walmart, Bass Pro Shops, you can get them at Tackle Warehouse and, and whatever kind you want. But I'm going to show you a little bit about what we pour and what we make and what we throw uh, that's done real good for us uh, in you know over the past few years. They're easy to make. You save a lot of money making them. And, you know, if you get the equipment, it's a one-time buy and you can pretty much just just keep on making them. Uh, that's what we do. I pour about 200 at a time and it's time to get some more because we're running low on a few kinds. So let me show you what we do with them right here. I've generally pour two different kinds. One right here is my main go-to shaky head here <clears throat> is a screw lock and we throw a zoom trick worm on them or a zoom finesse worm. Now this is a five alt hook. This is a five alt mustad uh, shaky shaky head hook that goes with these uh, do-it molds that I'll show you here in just a minute. Now what we do, we, we take and use a screw lock on, on these and work really well with the Zoom Trick Worm. This is Zoom Trick Worm in um, Green Pumpkin Magic, one of my favorite colors. And you know we throw it, I throw this a lot on baitcaster because I'm pitching it around docks and pitching it around stuff, but we throw most of it on on a uh, spinning rod. Now this one does have a heavier hook in it, a larger heavier hook, because I do pitch it around docks and things of that nature, uh, especially for big spots and, and, and things like that, spotted bass. <clears throat> now the other one that we throw, it's got a little smaller hook. This is a three alt, uh, again, must add. It's got a collar on it right here, uh, a lead collar. Now I pour these mainly, uh, we, you can do them this way with this, but mainly we throw a lot of zoom speed crawls on this right here and it really works good uh especially in the cold weather works good year round up here but you can really save a lot of money because these things are anywhere from you know 2.99 to 5.99 for a pack you get three to six of them in a pack and those go pretty quick you can lose several over a day and uh several packs worth over a day and we just find that pouring them up is enjoyable it's easy it's quick and uh there's really really no challenge much to doing it once you learn how to do it and uh that's what this video is about just showing you how we how we do this how we rig them and i'm going to take this off here I'm gonna sit, and i'm going to show you all you do now that knot on there i know it's got a lot of tag ends that's a gerald swindle gerald swindle double shindo because it's uh it's fluorocarbon and we don't tie palomar to fluorocarbon uh, because it's, it, it tends to cinch down and snap. But you take the, you take this, bite the head off. And all you do is thread it up on there, get the flat part of the worm to the bottom and hook it through. All right, you can leave it exposed like that, which is what I do a lot. Or you can leave the hook pointed through just barely like that and it's fairly weedless that way but the only thing that gets hung up a lot of times is its head and rocks especially if you're fishing rocks a lot so that's why we pour our own now you see this one's had a lot of bites on it we went to logan martin the other day and caught an awful lot of fish on them around piers the sun was shining and they were up in piers up under piers now i'm going to show you how you can rig this same one on this collar <clears throat> take this thing like this well, bite off a little of it there <clears throat> two ways you put it straight on there like that and that's really about a finesse worm size right there and looks pretty good but another way that I was watching a video uh, showed me to do I think this was Jesse Wiggins I'm not sure but uh, he hooks it on through a little bit further, like so, brings it back up, and has a curve to the worm. 
such as like that and catches a lot of fish that way i found both ways work fine i don't really prefer one way over the other i catch a lot of fish on the same uh you know the same way you know one cast after the other and then change to the other other style hooking it straight and and catch them like that as well if they're biting it but uh, <clears throat> anyways it's just a real good real good uh system to catch a lot of fish and of course it's not that expensive so i have my mold here heating up um i'll show you right there i've already got it plugged in got the got the lid um hot in it and i do use i do use a ladle i use a lead ladle um i find that it's a whole lot easier to just ladle them uh, uh in there i don't make a big a mess and if you know anything about these leaf pots here um you know you you can adjust the you know let the lead flow there Mine's old and decrepit, so uh, mine wants to leak a lot. And I've seen a lot of people put a screw up under there or a nail or something, take it out manually, put... I don't have time for that. So what I did, I let this build up there quite some time with lead, and it doesn't leak. So I just used the ladle on it and uh, um, use it that way. But uh, what we have here, we have two do-it molds. Uh, this, is, this is a shake-it jig production model it's 3 16th ounce this is the one with the lead collar on it they're sa the same cavities all the way across so you can pour you know you can pour six of them just like that in no time so i mean the 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 time save on this is is unreal so you can pour a lot of these real quick now this one my favorite one with the, the screw lock it is a shake it jig okay srh 6m sla and i'll i'll show you the the exact hooks that go in it in here in a minute but um these are anywhere from 1 16th ounce all the way up to a uh, uh 3 8 so 1 16 to 3 8 right there um you could put a four or five alt hook in them uh, this one's been used quite a lot and you can see there by the wear on it that most of what i use is a 3 16th ounce that's my what i'm more comfortable with 3 16th i do pour uh 1 8th i do pour 1 16th and i do pour a quarter but uh generally all i do uh, for the most part is the 3 16th now in the spring of the year i will i will do some 1 16th when they really want something falling slow and you can pitch it up under a pier and make it fall real slow and uh sometimes you know you get hit on that so screw locks these are do it screw locks um open this up Uh, tackle warehouse has been out of these forever but luckily i have a bunch of them you can get them on ebay through other uh vendors but it is a it's just a screw lock and of course this goes this end right here goes down in the head in the lid and the screw goes up and that's what you attach your worm with right there so uh there's screw locks and what i use on the big ones is a mustad five alt uh, 32798 BLN 5 volt hook. Now this is my favorite hook for a shaky head uh, because it's a fairly heavy hook and again like I said I'm pitching oh there one a miss I'm pitching this around piers and any other kind of cover and you can see that's a that's a pretty beefy hook for a shaky head. This is the one I throw on a bait caster. Uh, this is the one that I, I, I do a lot of pitching with a lot of skipping do a lot of dot skipping with it so, like I said, it's a, it's a fairly fairly large hook. I'm going to get this uh, mess that I dropped right here cleaned up while this lead is, is heating up. And you see there's a lot of, there's a lot of trash on the top of it. You're going you're gonna to be getting the slag off of it quite a bit. Um, it's, getting, it's getting there. It's getting warm. So, um, I'm going to let this heat up, and then we'll come back and pour some shaky heads. So, stick around. Hey, we're back now. Now, we've got the the lead is all melted. We got to we've got to get the slag off the top, all the trash and impurities off the top. I'll show you how to do that. It's real simple and easy. Um, look down here. I've got the mold. Uh, the mold is sitting on top of the the pot. It's getting hot, and you want to do that 
so the mold is hot through and through so when you pour the lead down in there it doesn't have a chance to cure before you finish pouring the whole head so it's imperative that the mold's hot now you better watch your fingers because you you know putting new hooks on and and uh, uh new screw locks in there every time you pour it's going to remain hot but you want to go ahead and get it hot it's called smoking the mold get it real hot <clears throat> and then how you get the get the impurities out all right this mold is that mold's hot so it's ready to go and it's it's going to stay hot for the remainder of our pour here and again i'm using a ladle take an old dinner fork and if you can see the impurities in here you just rake them back a lot of that's rust a lot of that's different things you scoop them out find you a metal uh container this is an old dog water dish and be careful this stuff will burn you something awful but again this is the easiest thing that you can possibly do for your fishing to save money um and you know to, to just always have a good stock of shaky heads now i've got that ready so what we're going to do we're going to open our mold now most of what i'm going to pour today is going to be 3 16th ounce which i told you a while ago is my favorite and what i use the most of so i'm going to reach in here give me a screw lock <clears throat> the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put the screw lock, screw lock in there and i'm gonna face the hook of it down you do not have to hook this around the hook uh it looks like it oh that needs to be hooked around the hook no it's going to be up there in that metal that you pour so the easiest thing to do is put it there okay put the hook down on top of it now it's very important right here close your mold make sure that it's flush okay these are big hooks and it doesn't get all the way it, it gets very flush uh but it's hard to get it just totally perfect but squeeze it hard that way you don't have any overhang with your lead you don't waste any lead and it makes it a whole lot easier of a pour so i go in here i'm scooping this all right get enough in there and it's real simple pour it in the hole all right i find this is so much easier doing it this way with a ladle than doing the up and down i don't make a mess i don't burn myself and you know the fume style there's another reason do this outside because this lead fumes is rough these lead fumes are rough so you want this stuff moving so if i open up the i uh, open this up here and there there is a shaky head okay and it's that simple okay and what you do you just cut that off thanks Slade. And you've got a shaky head there. You can clean that little bit up in the uh, on the that ran on the uh, above the the keeper there. But we get that now. There's your other half, okay? That that came up the top. All you gotta do is this: dump it back over in there because you're gonna reuse it, okay? You can keep reusing now all this stuff. If you mess up on one of these right here, you can sit it back down there, and it'll melt off. You clean it up with a wire brush, put it back in here, and you reuse it, okay? So that one's done. So. I put my mold back here. I always sit it back down on top to keep it hot while I grab more equipment. I grab more shaky head. Now, we can do two at a time here. If we want to do two different sizes at a time, that's not a problem. You can actually fill the whole mold up. But like I said, I only use a few of these sizes here. So right here, Slate has requested some larger ones. What size you want? Quarter. Do uh some quarter and five sixteenths. All right, some quarter and five sixteenths. It's a deeper picture. <coughs> that you follow stuff, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so I take this here. All right, this is for five sixteenths. Take my. What thing's hot? And it doesn't have to be facing all the way down. Especially on those bigger heads. We're gonna do three at a time here. Right. <laughs> I'm <clears throat> My fingers don't like to grab them small clips, All right? Yeah, yeah. Grab me a hook. All right. If you're doing multiples, make sure they're lined up. You see how perfectly aligned they are. That's going to make your 
that's going to make your mold close tight okay and that's what you want again it's been off the thing for a minute so look i've got a little overhang right there. i mean a little you know it's a little, little cracked right there i'm gonna have a little overhang because i got so many in there but again hold it tight they cure that quick open them up and look at there there's three shaky hits, okay? Three different sizes, all right? I've got my 5 16 quarter and then my 3 16 that I love so much. And all you do is clip the top off. All right, that goes back into the pot. Now, another thing, oh, I'm sorry. All right, let me see that. All right. Sometimes, if you can't get it all the way closed, like if you're pouring multiples like that, you're gonna have a little overhang. See these little things right here? Easy, simple. Just clip it. Back there, same thing. Look at there, perfect. All right, now, if you wanted to paint these, there's a couple of different ways that you can, that you can paint these. Um, I, have in the past powder coated them i have some powder coat in there where you heat them and you dip them in the power coat and shake it off and then put them in a toaster oven to cure i don't do that anymore um i have found that i don't catch any more fish with them painted and colored than i do with them not painted and colored so i don't know how many years it's been now probably five or six since i've actually painted any of my shaky heads i have a friend of mine that uh paints them both with powder coat and spray paint and if you do it real quick like right after you get it out of the mold the paint will stick better to it with a, a high dollar uh, type spray paint and that's still going to knock off more than powder coat i can powder coat it in there and bake it and come out here and beat them against this concrete and they won't come off because they're baked on there and that's what it's made for but i find that there's just no need in it we go through them so quick uh the fish bite them uh just as good without it so just wanted to show you what we use there again we're using a mustad 5 alt 32798 bln 5 alt hook um it is a thicker heavier gauge wire hook um i like to pitch that around docks and pick, pitch that up under docks and uh, slade skips them up under docks a lot so you uh, know we, we get a you know good bite under a dock i want a good hook to bring it out now you don't really want to throw that hook on a, on a spinning rod we'll put a little smaller hook i'll do another video show you a spinning rod shaky head uh that that we can do uh with another mold there but we can do it with that mold actually but um i'd rather use a different mold again that's that's what we do if you do that and you get this pot you can find these pots um uh tackle warehouse has them you can find them at bass pro shops um uh you know any any uh, jans netcraft has them um you can get them there you can get the molds there too bass pro shops has most of the molds but the easiest thing to do is go to tackle warehouse because tackle warehouse will actually have the mold there and tell you what hooks will, that will fit it um and they have the hooks they have the the uh, screw locks they have the lid they have the the uh, production pot everything that you need uh like i said they've been out of screw locks lately but um, I got some off of eBay, but the same thing to do it, you know, the do it, um, screw locks boss, I think makes them, uh, again, uh, subscribe, like, uh, throw a comment down there, question, we'll answer them. Uh, we're trying to get this going. We, we've got some good ideas where you do a lot of fishing, a lot of hunting and, um, end up enjoying photography and, and making videos like that. So we'd like to share what we do with y'all. Slade's a high school fisherman and uh, he's got a couple of tournaments left left this uh this year asa bfa and we're gonna do some filming with him and his partner steel and uh he's got a whole season next year he's a junior going to be a senior uh he's won a tournament or two this year and uh uh look to have some good some good uh, uh videos from all that mounting the gopros in the boat and this that and the other so again subscribe like um shoot a comment out there and thank you and we'll see y'all again